don't know exactly. I, I heard the driver say something to the hitchhiker a while ago about crossing the state line. What state? What state are we going to? Where are we going? Don't panic. I don't know right now exactly where the truck is headed. But at least it's going the opposite direction of Atlantic City, which is the important thing. Just get the hell out of that place. So we made it across the Jersey state line and all the borders. Just into Pennsylvania. The roadblocks caught us. Maybe our luck will hold out. I know this may not be the time and the place, but I'm starved. Me too. Don't you think the driver ever gets hungry? Oh, I don't know. Maybe his wife packed him a picnic basket or something, huh? Then again, maybe there's a little picnic sitting right here and we didn't even know it. I'm sure there is. Hmm. Really? These are all personal appliances. I mean, the refrigerator, the stove. What the hell's the matter with me? There's got to be some some canned goods or some food yeah, up here, huh? Yeah, you be right. And I'm willing to claw right into this. Start clawing, then, huh? Because we got to try to find ourselves some clothes, too, right? So when we get out of this truck, we can change into something to make a little getaway from here, right? Yes, we get out of here. We don't even know where we're going. It feels like we're getting farther and farther away from Port Charles. Well, we'll just have to choose our trucks more carefully next time, huh? Find anything? Yeah. This is great. Well, you know, it's really not all that great because we don't have any can opener. Would you leave that stuff to me? You have a can opener with you? Honey, some people are into rabbit's feet. I'm in can openers. Table over here. We can make a nice little table here for oh, two. Oh, perfect. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. What we got in there? I got some tuna fish and... Here, two that box of crackers, okay? You know, if we had to, we could just hang out in this truck for days. Get into this mess. <laughs> I don't know, baby, but it is one hell of a mess, isn't it? Yeah, and it's getting worse every day. I made you a promise, you know, that I would clear everything up and I would get us out of this. I'm going to keep that promise. Over oh, dead sardines, I'm going to keep that promise. I have faith in you. I always will. All right, then let's think ahead, okay? We have to figure out a way to get into Port Charles so no one is going to recognize us. We have to find some proof, too, so that we can at least prove that we're innocent. Ideas? Clothes? Some of the boxes? Think we can hold off people for a while and look for something to wear? Mm -hmm. Well, from what the much of a clothes selection was it? Well, same goes for the food, though, huh? There you go. So? Have a look. You're the cutest button. What are you doing? Dirt on my face, so people think I'm dirty and won't recognize me. How do I look? Give the butt. This is it, partner. As soon as the van comes, we we'll stop. We get out the back before the driver can see us, okay? And we try to make our way back to Port Charles and get to the ADZ warehouse without arousing suspicion. Okay? You know, you look like a typical waterfront. What can I do for you, officer? New York State Police, what are you transporting? Household goods. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to make a search of your van. Okay. We're looking for a man and a woman. They're armed and they're dangerous. There it is. Moving a load of home furnishings. Yeah, I hope your company's insured. You get sued for uh, careless handling. Yeah, it is a mess. Uh, must have happened when I hit a pothole a few miles back. Take a look. So who are these people you're looking for? Oh, a couple of punks involved in a shooting in Atlantic City. There's an APB in five states. Bunny and Clyde? Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm gonna have to put all those clothes back on the rod now. Hey, sorry about that. 
do me a favor. You see a teddy bear in the other wardrobe cart, and don't shoot at it. Hey, we're doing this for your safety, too, mister. Waste of time. I've been on the road the last 20 hours. Never saw or heard anyone. There's no one in here. OK, you can get rolling. Perfect time, okay? He's probably going to get some coffee. We'll take off. with Damon today, I won't be able to live with myself. Good God, man, you were there in Atlantic City. You heard that hit, man. Damon had a contract out on Frisco and Felicia. You stopped him in his tracks, Duke. That doesn't get Damon off the hook. Frisco and Felicia are only alive by the grace of God. That woman who killed Tessie would have killed them, too, if they hadn't managed to escape somewhere. Yeah? How do you think I feel knowing Tessie's dead because of me? I hired Tessie to protect Frisco and Felicia. I might as well have put the gun at Tessie's head myself. Duke, you didn't know it was going to turn out this way. You did what you thought was right. Now, please understand. I have to keep on doing what I think is right. I've got to stop Damon some way, and I will certainly find a way to do that. You're playing with fire, Duke. Well, as long as it's me that's creating the heat. Good morning. Yeah, what's left of it. Have I held you up or something? I just got in from New York. I came over as soon as I got your messages from the hotel. Angel, will you excuse us, please? No. Sure thing. <clears throat> what the hell do you think you're doing? Well, that's not the friendliest of greetings. Don't play games with me, Damon. Tessie is dead, and you're the cause of it. I don't know what you're talking about. Your hired gun messed up. And you know what I'm talking about, Damon. So don't you waste your breath denying it. Watch yourself, Duke. <sighs> don't waste your breath, man. You better get something straight. I'm not here to answer to you, and I don't owe you any explanations. You are working for me. You are a glorified message, boy. And no matter how you slice it, I work for Mr. B. I said you work for me. What are you talking about? You don't listen, Duke. 
No, I told you, I am now in charge of the Port Charles operation. Yeah, so you say. I'll believe it when I hear it from Mr. B. In person, that is. You're smarter than that. Yeah, smart enough to know that I shouldn't believe anything you say. As of now, I don't trust you for the time of day. Your orders will come directly from me. Mr. B will not come here for your convenience. Believe it. I am your only contact. Mr. B will continue to keep a low profile in this town, and there's nothing you can do about it. Then I guess this is a standoff, Damon. Guess again. I have your new orders for you. You are to meet today with Mayor Morgan and ensure that our man David replaces Dan Rooney as building commissioner. Now, is this your first order of business in your capacity as Big Cheese? No, those are Mr. B's orders. All right. He's the cheese and you're the rat. I can't impress enough on you how imperative it is that David gets the appointment. It will ensure the success of our next phase of money laundering. What if I refuse to do this? You're in no position to refuse. Give Mr. B a message for me. Tell him I will meet with the mayor on one condition. He's not going to deal with you, Duke. If he doesn't turn the heat off Frisco and Felicia, I will go to Anna Devane, and I will tell her everything that I know. Oh, you're prepared to go to prison to save Frisco and Felicia? I'm not in the habit of making idle threats. You give Mr. B my message, and you do it today. Call off the hit on Frisco and Felicia, or Mr. B will lose everything. Hey, Tom, how are you doing? Well, you can see for yourself, Duke. I just had to come by and let you have a look at the... The new me. Hey. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this... getting this new leg for me. Well, I love seeing you. It does my heart good to see you without that crutch. Huh? Yeah, well, it must have cost you a fortune to get this prosthesis. I'll leave you to talk. Yeah. Okay. How am I ever going to repay you? Hmm? I don't want you to even think about it. It was a gift. Pure huh. and simple. <laughs> it was more than that. When I got the call to come down to the doctor's office, I found out that you had ordered and paid for this thing. I don't know why you did it, but I'll remember you the rest of my life. Well, let's just say it was my way of, of paying a long-standing debt. Oh? Yeah, there was a time a while back when another man needed my help. I wasn't able to give it to him, and I've never forgiven myself. Hmm. Have a seat. Get comfortable. Yeah. Uh, well, that man must, uh, must mean a, a lot to you. Yeah, he did. He, he was my father. Oh, I see. You know, you remind me of my father in lots of ways. If he were alive, I would ask his forgiveness for letting him down, but, well, he's gone. Yeah, we can't always manage the timing in our lives, can we? No, when he needed me, well, I wasn't there. By the time I was ready to help, of course, it was too late. He was dead. So I'm paying my respects to my father through you. <laughs> uh, thanks again. Hey, you're welcome. Yeah. You did good, Duke. Yeah, can we go back to business? Right. I've got to find a way to put Anna off longer. I promised her the answers to questions. I can't give her any answers yet.